have got one thing in common. It's what am I doing playing for a place in the final? Right, yeah, it's in both the highlights. Now which one will Goldest it be? Goldest wins the lag. Both have played. And if you were tuned in early, you would have seen Goldest of the pitch in Bustamante game when it went to Hill Hill. is putting uh, some heat seen anybody step up and uh, spread which has been a, a soft breaking table and played on this table one of the interesting things to watch out for you too many matches on this table breaking because where it has been a lot more difficult That's a very clever shot. Poker there. Cannoned off a three and brought it back out. Table. And he's got a nice angle to drop under the four ball here. And what both players will be looking for is feel their way into the match. A lot way longer. <laughs> I'll put the pressure. Isn't it? Well, Vilmos, of course, did have a. And I'm sure the first thing he did, because they know about the soft break, I'm sure. Come out and see what his uh, normal break looks like. So far, only one rack in, of course, but yeah, it looks settled out there so far. And I've not really got this week. There's that many matches. To He's been tucked away. He's yeah. been in the shadows. And as you commented on earlier, quietly going about his business. It's in fact. And I, I watched some of that match. It was on table. It was way up out in the uh, in the. There's three people watching. Uh, he's had no pressure. No. So your first question was going to be, what's he going to be like on the top table under the lights and with the cameras? Going? Well, if he's going to be nervous, oh, 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 oh my goodness me! How do you explain that? Because I, mean, it's, I think he almost rushed it. It was too easy. He must have just he was here again. Thought it was too easy. It just didn't. For business. What a start, Darrell. But hey, that's. Game. Mm -hmm. That's you being sloppy. Yeah. And around the chops that you might need just to say, hey. That could be the wake up call. Shake his senses about a lot. Got a match on here. This is a big match. Let's get focused. We don't know yet how costly that's going to be. You can get a few break and run outs. Expensive. He sees the one but isn't ideal. Oh, when he pockets this one ball, it'll be in the wrong Just trying come a little bit closer. Top left hand side, and he's blocked by that orange five, but he may the combination shot on for the 3-5. You can see the angle on the blow two there. <coughs> he 
Bustamante, if you remember in the Juan Francisco Bustamante. Faced with a tough shot. He always chose the defensive option. Mm. He played the the dazzler. He's he's clash. I don't know where his mate's got that nickname from. <laughs> What's his gunner nickname? You can see on the screen there he's got a very tough combination shot here. He could actually elect to come cushion for come cushion for find that five. Oh, he's going for a bank. That's not got the legs. Tried the two-way shot there, the bank safety. You will see it again. If you're going to miss that, miss missing the, the bottom rail. If you're missing the bottom rail, you're going to leave it up. Trick a little shot here for full days. Looking to bang a three back down table. She's done, but what's he going to be left with? I don't think he'll be too bothered about that, will he? Uh, good cue ball control and object ball tight near the bottom rail. The distinctive thing about this rack is how many balls are on or adjacent to a rail. I haven't seen too many of these on this table. It's been a very generous spread. Once you get on, if you, you've had a reasonable run of balls at yeah. your disposal, but this, you're going to have to go the long way around. I wonder if Daryl will attack this night. Well, he's played the safe game again. Oh, he's really got away with that one. He double kicked that three ball there. He, didn't, he wasn't looking for that. Has he got away with it? There's a very, very fine cut into a side pocket there. It would have to be exceptionally fine. We see that shot again from Darrow. He double kicks the three with the cue ball. Is there a bank on, perhaps? He could try a bank shot. It's risky. Safety, but that's, he's a bit short. That's a problem. <coughs> yeah, he's just a little bit short with the cue ball there. He's looking to hide it behind the pink four. He's given a open window there for Darrell. And Darrell has walked in through that window. He's coming back for position on the floor. Look like that cue ball to stop. He should be online for the, uh, the five off the back end of this. Just checking that the clothing doesn't uh, come and cause a foul. Yeah, he's got two options here. He can either draw back out mid table. Take a second down the bottom right. To see how close it is to that centre pocket. I feel the shot to play here. He's actually come behind the six and take it down the bottom right hand corner. It's a much easier shot. Just wants a slight angle and that looks good. He's in perfect line now, just to roll this six into the bottom right. Doesn't need to do anything fancy with the cue ball, just let it roll out table. Just composing himself. I know you spent some time with him immediately. Pat, how long did it take for, uh, for the helium to clear the system and for him to come <laughs> back down to earth? Yeah, we just went and had uh, a lot of coffee and a lot of chat. I just told him, give him a bit of advice, just 
go away and clear your head before your next match. Uh, the motions were running through it, Daryl. I mean, I saw you going off and having that coffee, and, and such was the uh, drama of that finish with the Bustamante match. They actually had the security team walk him through. I mean, and not for one he's going to have a go at him, but that just shows you the kind of level of intensity that, that the organisers thought, well, just in case there's somebody out there that uh, wants to get fresh, let's just uh, have a little bit of security with Dal. He didn't need it, of course. We had you for a start. Well, I needed it, you say. <laughs> <laughs> and when you've been to Glasgow and you get John Smeaton. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, we just went for a little chat, a little wind down, and get his composure back. Nice shot there, he just would have liked a little bit further down. Yeah, so let's just remember what happened on the last nine ball, which we as did Wilmos. I'm undistracted, yeah. Darrell there. This end of the table, the table you come because we've got the cameras there, is, there's a lot of people mill around and a lot of walking around goes on and Daryl has done exactly what Vilmos did. So, why? Didn't like it the way he got distracted there. No, there's a lot of paparazzi at the bottom of the table mm. there. Along with the camera crew. And they do tend to move around a lot. There's another steal. We've got a long way to go in this one. And uh, two very, very strange racks. Each man had complete control of it, only to blow it on the nine. Hill Moss has had a kick on the cue ball that sent it north, but it's come back so we can see the one. Might even have a shot at putting that away as well. Yeah, there's an interesting break-off here from Foldes, you can see again, a lot more power than we're used to in this match table. He's got a good layout here, just needs to make the opening shot. And he's way out there. Yep. Tried to pinch your pocket too much. And at that pace they just don't go in, you can see it again. We've seen Bustamante play a similar sort of shot earlier, but wasn't with as much pace on the object ball. But well, isn't it a case of there's your luck? You see those bounce right out of the jaws so often, and that one has just sat up for Darrell Peach. So Folder's got the worst of both worlds there. Darrell just uh, coming back. Let's take a look at the uh, the red three. He's left a trick a little shot here. He's bridging over the, the black eight. He's supposed to concentrate on this cut. That's the shot. Nothing fancy there, just natural shot. Back out for a shot at the pink four. On your top right hand side of the screen. It's a natural pot here, just come round the angles for the five ball. Doesn't want to be bridging over that black he again. He doesn't. Uh, and a kind little nudge here. They really are in dreamland, these two, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we've been saying all week that uh, the. Uh, additional incentive for these European players is that uh, the organisers have guaranteed that the furthest rank for surviving European will make it to the Moscone Cup team. Yeah, there's one spot available. Little did anybody realise that three of them are going to show up in the last four. You might have to win the whole thing to get that spot. It's looking that way now. <laughs> but what if you get to the final and lose? I mean, how could you be left out of the Moscone Cup team? <laughs> It, it really has, whatever happens from here on in, uh, the, the big picture story is the rise of the Europeans at this year's World Championship. Yep. It's the continuing struggles of North America, the decline of Chinese Taipei, 
And new kids on the block for the Philippines. That's it. It's great to be able to see two UK lads there still fighting it out. Oh, and a lovely shot there from Darrell Peach. Daloy, left hand English on that cue ball to check it up and straighten it up. Back down for the nine. No mistake on the nine this time. You notice know, nine of us said, oh yeah, this is automatic. Well, that's okay, he likes to. Don't even focus on the player on the table, he just stares in the open space of the, the floor. He just listens to those balls getting pocketed mm. or missed. And when it's a miss, he's back at the table. Alright, let's see what uh, Peach can uh, come up with here. Yeah, he won't uh, vary that soft break. Is that blue two going to roll? Oh mm, not ideal, is it? Can you see the blue two on your screen rolling towards the side rail. Because that's the problem, isn't it? How on earth does he get position on the two? Yeah, he's got a tough one on the one ball. Mm. Yeah, that's assuming he makes the one, of course. He could bank the one ball back cross table. You can see from the spin there he's not that short in the two ball. May I like to play safe after this. Yeah, sensible shot there. There's no point in attempting that bank shot if we couldn't get position on the two. Confirmation of the results from earlier. Darrell Peach, that unforgettable hill hill match against Bustamante. Roberto Guerma is still no stopping him. That's how Vilmos got here, and uh, there's Blackpool's number two, Carl Boyce. Also into the final four. So Blackpool's number one, two one up, and Blackpool's number two, two nil up. This could be the Blackpool final. Wow. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> sure would be some big parties going on in Blackpool if these two lads got to the final. And not only Blackpool, the whole of the UK, I yeah. think we'd be celebrating along with them. Well, I need to pinch myself a time. I can't believe this <laughs> no. is happening. We're saying it, and it's it's, it's almost like a joke, but it's um, it's coming to pass. Anyway, a long way to go in both these semis. Nobody's uh, celebrating a spot in the final just yet. Phil Moss gets out the short stick. Oh, oh that's wow. a beauty. Oh. And look at the position he's got on the two. Yeah, tremendous shot What there. a shot. Let me see it again. Great cue ball control. And shape on the blue two. And that's the reason why this final, this semi-final isn't over yet. There's a long way to go. I didn't know Folders had a shot like that in his arsenal, I have to be honest. If he's that good a jumper... Yeah, this kid's got all the shots. Mm. He's 22 years old, but he's very experienced. Yes, he seems to have been around a while, doesn't he? I yeah. was surprised when... You know, you, you, you look at the bio and you go, No, 22? No, he's been around a bit. <laughs> but he's, he's, he's put some miles on the clock already, this fella. Yeah, he's a former junior champion. Been uh, one of the top players on the Euro Tours for a number of years now. His uh, last 16 finish in this event, two years previous. So it feels like he's been around for years. And at such a young age. He seems to be very relaxed out there too, which is a good sign. Or a bad sign for Dial Preach, depends yeah, how you look at yeah, it. Yeah, it's um <coughs> you look at um, you look at folders and and apart from the mental error, I, he, he's looked very, very solid at the table. Now, is he gonna get caught in no man's land on this? No, he's okay. 
if he misses another nine ball, he doesn't need to give himself a slap, he'll need to give himself a boot up the backside. It won't happen. You don't make that mistake twice. Yeah. Four days down in for the drawback. I can't take another Hill Hill match. <laughs> Not after the drama of the last one. Yeah, we were both on the edge of our seat that last match here. That's without doubt the most tense, nervous nine ball match I've ever seen. Now the one has been pushed way up north. And look where that red's come. Hmm, what do you think he's going to do here? A little push out. <laughs> what a mess. Yeah, it's surprising that Vilma's, well, you can obviously see that he's using a power break. I must say, I am very surprised about this. If he'd have been watching any of the other mm. matches. Mm. Well, having said that, Jeff DeLuna, you know, the, uh, the power hitter of this group, mm -hmm. of, the, of this competition, he stayed with his power break on this table. He lost on an outside table. Yeah. So you, you can win with the big break on this. It's just that, you know, it's economy of effort that seems to be reaping the dividend for most players that come on here. Mm -hmm. Well, will Darrell say, you know what, I'll have a little kick at this. Looks like he is lining it up, but then he comes back up and... Yeah, he'll definitely play this one. Although the cue ball is close to the brown seven, he'll be looking to put right-hand English on the cue ball anyway, so... Oh, he's put Volmer's. He's put oh. Folders back in. That's very surprising. What do you think has caused his change of plan? Because you felt, well, you were very confident he was going to go for that. What's yeah. he seen? He's probably worried about uh, coming too much off the back cushion with side and spinning that cue ball into the corner pocket. But if he catches it full on, like that, it was automatically going to send the one ball back down the table. He's going to send it very close to the pocket. Right over the pocket. And this is very makeable where the one ball sits. Well, any kind of contact really, isn't it? Yeah. Here we see that shot from Foldes. Nice one-wheel kick, but... He just puts a little bit more pace in anticipated. And sends it towards the bottom pocket. Now we see there. Doesn't require much to go in that pocket. And Darrell just need to be careful here. Those you won't want to let that cue ball slip behind the nine. If he pockets this one, which I expect him to. Nice shot. Uh, what's he got? Is he okay? Yeah. Looks like he is. Here we see that beautiful jump shot again from Darrell Peach. Controls the cue ball well. And he's got a shot and then blew two into the centre pocket. And because the cue ball's so close to that rail, we're struggling to do much with this. You can see the three. It's back down table. Just wants that to slow up a little. And that's okay. Again, it doesn't need to do much with the cue ball. Just wants to drop the red three. But the cue ball just bounce off the side rail and back out. Neatly done yeah, there for very Peach. Nice touch, yeah. And you know when you play those slow shots like that, you, when your arm's a bit tight, you tend to pull it to the side and miss the pot. You can see Peach is no danger of doing that today. I presume Darrell's got his little cheerleader group uh, within the gang of three. One of whom's your partner. Yeah, I think you've lost her for the day. <laughs> 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 yeah, they're all there on the side. They'll be cheering Darren, Darren over, over the winning line, hopefully. And he was glad to have him in, literally in his corner at the end of that match, because uh, 
they were the only friendly faces in the whole arena. Not that, to be fair to this crowd, they were pro Bustamante. They were never anti Darrell Peach. No, they just wanted to see their man mm. win. That was that's what means the most to them. That's nine ball to again the, the lead again, and down it goes. Daylight, just a, a sliver of it. So both players are pretty handy with a jump stick. Mm. I mean, the folders jump was, I mean, you, you couldn't have played it any better. Oh, yeah, the, fantastic. The cue ball control and that was just fantastic, as you see. Darryl went back to his usual little routine there. His little sandpaper. Just wiping down the moisture off his cue. He's had this same routine all week. It's certainly paying off for him. There goes the wing ball. Uh, there's, uh, there's a channel there for the one. Yeah, they just get kicked by the green six. Otherwise they would have a, a better opening shot. He's still got a shot in this uh, yellow one down the rail. And again, he doesn't really need to do much with the white ball. Just send it back across. Oh, He's no, over cut that one. Yeah. Has he, he got? Gonna, yes, has he got lucky? I think he has. I think he's covered that with a black eight. I think there might be an edge for Vilmos, but it's the wrong edge. It's see uh, that cut again, he just overcut it. I think Vilmos might not be completely snooker, but he, he can't get an angle for a, for a pot. Even be the uh, possibility of, a, of an in off if oh no no he's going to go uh, he's going to take it on this way. Well, that's a sensible shot, but it didn't come off for him. I say it's a sensible shot because it looked on. It's tough to criticise a player that goes for a shot like that, but having decided to go for it, should he have made it? Yeah, because it's so close to the rail mm. like that, you've got a. The percentage of you making the shot goes up higher. Yeah. But he just got the inside of it there. And unfortunately for him, he's left Darrell Peach an opportunity. Yes, it's um, it's little things from Vilmos at the moment. But, but you just... It's nicely played from Darrell. You just get the feeling with folders if he can just kind of tighten up the screws all the way around he, he, he's got the complete package oh yeah definitely the more Darrell applies the pressure to him mm. the harder it will become to release his arm at times Darrell's in nice position here just wants to draw that cue ball back over to the right hand side where that green six is If he makes it, these last four balls here, he start to put a little distance between the two of them. And Darrell seems to be more and more confident with each match he's winning here this week. He's had some great victories. is when you get to this stage of the uh, of the thing you don't want any you know you, you don't want to hear anybody saying to you oh what a great tournament you had you get this close you want to win it yeah you know maybe in five years time you look back and say yeah i reached the semi-finals that was no mean achievement and it's not but you get this close you can touch it yeah what were you last 16 last year pat and yeah i got to last you on the back and at the time you're probably very disappointed to get knocked out i was very disappointed Peach with a chance to just widen that gap a little bit. Still a race to 11. They don't crank up the uh, the big target until the final. And then you need 17. Well, 
the wind ball seems automatic on this peach break. Yeah, he's got a shot at the wind ball, as you'll see. Lies with the seven. He's just got a very thin cut back into the side. Two ball disappears on the break. Great shot on the red three on your left. Daryl just look. Daryl just look to see. There we can see that shot there. It's a very thin shot into the side pocket. We actually turn it down. Oh, very, <laughs> very skillful shot there from Darrell. Clever. But that's not what he wanted. Is that still going to pass? I think it may just, may just sneak past. it in, yeah. yeah. It's a tough shot. It's not just making the one ball on the side, it's controlling that cue ball because it's going to drift away down the table towards the 4 and 5. Now we see your shot there, better shot of it. It's sliding into the 6 ball. Oh, it was very good cue ball control there. Avoided the cannon on the 6 and <laughs> Fold his face as a hole. You will see that. Beautiful shot there. He's probably a difficult opponent to play as well because he doesn't he, he doesn't give you much, does he, Darrell? You no. know, there's there's no energy sort of flying around that table. There's nothing you know, there's no sparks flying, it's just very, very methodical and thorough and business like. Yeah, definitely. It's very well summed up. Well, that's a good thing. I mean, that's not a negative. You know, no. you, you don't get bonus points for, for, for flash. It is, it is a wonderful nickname he's got because sometimes nicknames are just so inappropriate. But <laughs> the Dazzler, uh uh. It's more like the accountant, he measures everything. Yeah, he keeps everything very simple. And that's probably the best way to play this game. Well, I think. You had to be like that to have survived that business with Bustamante. Yeah. If you'd have been a more volatile personality, you wouldn't have got through. You'd have fallen, you'd have, you'd have been in bits. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Your emotions would have been all over the place. Mm. Hmm. This is a tester. Isn't it just? A thin cut to the centre pocket. Yeah, you could, you, you could go three ways here. He's going to go for the thin cut into the side. Does he get it? Nicely done. That was a little tester. Yeah. And the test was in gap there. And he's almost halfway over the lane. Mm. There's still a lot to play for. We've seen that in the last the match here. By five racks to two. Oh yeah, five two means nothing. No. <laughs> you know, you're not preparing the champagne if you're here, if you if you're Darrell Peach, but you're certainly not. Uh, Sending up the, dis the, the distress flares if you've almost hold it. It's, uh, it's way too early for that. Especially this winner big for format this year. Anything can happen, we've seen it many times. Uh, where's that two yes, ball where's going? Where's that two going? Oh, I just, just passed in no more. Can we see it again? Do you get us? You mentioned the winner break format. Uh -huh. There's been much grumbling about it, mainly from players who've been on the receiving end of a pasting. But um, what do you think? Do you think it's here to stay, or will they uh, look to fine tune things a little bit next year? The organisers? No, I think uh, the winner break format is definitely the right format for TV. Um, they just need to work something out with the break shot because this soft break is uh, that's what the players have been moaning about. Mm. I haven't been moaning about the winner's break, it's just uh, how easy it is to make a, the wing ball in this TV table. You played in outside tables, it played totally differently. Yeah. 
There wasn't many break and run outs on the outside tables, I can tell you. You can see here, Daryl's got a little bit of problem there with that orange five. So he may like to pocket the three. Folder's just smiling again, he seems to be enjoying it. Yeah, he's, um, he's not under any undue pressure yet. you can see from our overhead. You may elect to cannon into the, the nine or the seven ball here. Either one would do him nicely. We were looking for a little bit of luck too. There's Neil's fine. And his girlfriend Katrine. Neil's was uh, Oh it's a nice shot there from Darrell Peach. Niels was on the uh, wrong end of an 11 nil against Roberto Gomez late into the night last night. Yeah, come up against a man on fire, Roberto Gomez. Been talking about the Moscone Cup, Nick. Niels is one of, one of the four players already selected and what a great season he's had. Won the Derby City Classic and the Challenger Champions. Two of the biggest events on the circuit these days. And he's rightly deserved his spot in the Moscone Cup team. Along with the other three guys. <laughs> oh, oh, nice shot. One to be Darryl. announced. It'll be one of these two or Carl Boys. And just looking at Darrell go around the table here, he's. He seems to be back in that zone he was earlier on this morning. And the racks just keep on coming. Again, nothing you can pull out of that rack that would make a highlight reel. But it's the nine down. Nine, Peach to break, leading by six racks to two. And he's got this break. Well, let's hope this isn't the, uh, the old commentator's curse. But he's got this break at the moment nailed on. Yeah, it's another impressive start here from Darrell Peach. He's run the last three racks. Folders can only just sit in his chair and watch. And how's that rolled out? Wow. Certainly getting the rolls too. Yeah, the one ball went down there. Six and eight are very, very close. Which may potentially present a problem. Yeah, just needs to work out the formation here. The important shot here will be the five to the six. The six will pass eight into the bottom right hand corner. So we'll be trying to work out a good angle from that five. Each remember a regular in this uh, world championship since at least 1999, the year Matchroom took it over never beyond the round of 64. A major underachievement for a man of such consistency, but uh, boy, he's put that right this year. Yeah, he certainly has. It's been a great year so far for Daryl Peach. And who knows, he might top it off with a world crown. This is an important shot, he just wants to believe in the right angle. From five to six. Looking to draw the cue ball. Back through the centre here. Can you see that draw shot as he got it through. That's good enough. I don't quite know if he's blocked to six. Yeah, does he have to bring that up or will the six pass? Yeah, I think it'll pass. He hasn't even yeah, looked. The flexi rest. It's a new invention to the circuit. What does that do? Well, it's got a flexible head on it and you can adjust it to whatever you want. Uh, as you can see there, mm. you can raise it, raise it up higher to play 
I've got a top in the cue ball where you can lower it to use it for drawback. So it's no longer a fixed unit then basically, no. you've got yeah. to, you can adjust it to uh, to accommodate the needs of the shot. And then hence the adaptive name, Flexi Rest. It's also good if you're pretty close to other balls, you can manoeuvre it to the side. Mm. So it's got a lot of uses. Carl's really uh, working out the percentages on this. He's viewed this from every conceivable angle. He'll be hanging from the ceiling next. Fold is almost asleep in his chair there. Mind you, he's not had a shot for about 20 minutes. Long time. Daryl may like to go into the 6 and 8 here. And he has. And how's it turned out? Not mm. as kind as he would have no, liked to. Not the best. Not the best. We look to play a containing safety shot here. Send the 6 to the bottom rail. Put some distance between the cue ball. Two shot, get the 6 safe first. And that's a nice cue ball control there. Keeping folders in trouble. Well, yeah, at least Vilmos has, uh, has uh, rediscovered the use of his legs because he's been uh, nailed down in that chair for a while, but fancy having to come out to this. Oh, oh that's. Well, in hand. That's unfortunate. That's un I mean, that is tough. When you're sitting there, there's ice anyway, and your opponent has looked the snooker and you scratch off it you know Vilmos is he, he gives you the impression of a fairly unruffled kind of guy but that's got to depress your spirits yeah I'll certainly begin to uh, he's not had a decent hit the table for a while now and the more and more he watches pocket and all the opportunities he'll be getting worried this nine for a 7-2 advantage in this race to 11. Well, he can smile, he had no chance. Yeah, and it's 6-2 you think? To break, yeah. leading by it's okay, it's okay. 7-2, you're starting to think that's a gap. Yeah. And not only that, this guy only needs four now. And he's still at the table. Mm. And the way he's been breaking off. Although if you're Vilmos, you've just got to think law of averages. Something nasty's got to happen. Yeah. One block. That's all he needs. One block. Well, I think Film is maybe the happier man there. Mm. It's just not an obscured one. It's it's not a one that's going anywhere at first glance. tries to cut it fine. I think he's going to. I don't see how he can avoid a scratch. And if he tries to cut it into the uh, side pocket, that's a very, very tricky sh shot indeed. Yeah, he may, look, he may like to just play the safer shot here. The one off the cushion and back into this area. And then send the cue ball down here, into that area. Needs to just judge the pace of them though. How's his pace? That looks to be very good. So, another nasty scenario for Vilmos Foldes. Yeah, and there's no jump shot here. Absolutely not. You will see that shot from Peach. Good pace in the cue ball and object ball. And leaves Vilm is another tricky little number. And that is part of Daryl's strategy, I'm sure now, when he's leaving shots, because he knows Vilmos can jump. Yeah. You can't just say, oh, well, I'll just, I'll just give him a snooker. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got to give him a snooker that he can't jump out exactly, of. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, that's what you've got to be careful of. When you're leaving such good players with easier snookers, they just get their jump stick out and just make them and not only that you remember that shot earlier on he just doesn't make yeah, them yeah. he gets positioned yeah yeah 
yet. You can't, you can't give him that opportunity. But what would Vilmos give for a pot and a run at some balls? Be careful here. Oh, shot, ball in hand. That was a very tough ask here. Well, he gradually missed that, but you can see when he you know, shot again off three rails and just slightly misses that one ball. But just look at the, the way all the yeah. other balls are situated yeah. now. I was going to say, did he mess the table up a little bit? He's given Darrell another good opportunity here. So many balls at or very near the bottom rail. Is there a is there a clean run out for Peach here? Yeah, the only shot he's got to worry about here is a is a 78. You see the eight ball right in the centre by here. That's the one he's got to worry about. He wants to be on the right hand side of that, shooting it past the nine. So just be working out the angle there, you see him checking the eight ball. I'm sure from the camera angle it does go. Nicely on for the four. Doesn't change his rhythm, does he? Doesn't matter if it's an easy shot tough shot goes through those little rituals of his keeping all those emotions in check some guys play well with their emotions flowing others are destroyed by them it's about knowing yourself and yeah. what your strengths are mm -hmm. yeah I totally agree with you there some players like to wear their heart on the sleeve and show their emotions, others keep them intact. Mm. And Darrell definitely keeps his intact. He just needs to spin this well low. Left hand side, back out. And a nice angle on the brown seven. That looks to be perfect. When did Vilmos Folders last have a look at a ball? It's it's a long time ago. Yep. Darrell just checking, make sure that it goes past the nine. The seven ball's pretty simple for him. If it doesn't go, he could actually come off the side rail and bottom rail and cannon into the nine to hold for the eight. That's what he's just looking at there. He may elect to go that route because it's an easy cannon and he knows if he hits it right, he'll be right on the nine, on the eight, sorry. Yeah, he is going that route. He's going for the cannon. Oh, oh yes. yeah, that's, that's a right. super shot. We are looking at 8 2 now, and Vilmos Foldes is looking at a world of trouble. And that's what happens when you're on a good day, things roll your way. Honestly, I wondered, I wondered when Darrell Beach had that drama competition for the North Americans. Leading by eight racks to two. Yeah, they haven't. Number of years now. And well commented that they don't like to trap. It's funny how the balance of power keeps shifting in this game. And I wonder if we're seeing another one here because whatever happens I think the Europeans have surpassed expectations of this event oh yeah I mean uh, Asia has been a powerhouse for a number of years now and as you said earlier on the Americans have been lacking going backward in fact and now you see the Europeans starting to make a showing now I wonder if he's got a clean look at this one that black has come in and obscured things but does he get an angle on it Will it pass in the side? That's the question. 
Yeah, I believe so. I believe we can cut that one ball back in to the side pocket. The problem, of course, is the cue ball is in and the ball he's looking for way down south, so he'll have to negotiate. Yeah, the, the problem is going to be is the black eight in the middle of the angles. He needs to try and avoid that. Is he going to get the luck? Needs a little nudge. It's needed more than that. Not on this occasion. <laughs> I suppose he could. Although we can also see an edge of the ball. I don't think he can see enough of it to put it away. Yeah, no one did. The way Darrell has played his last few matches, I, th I think we'll just see him send the, the blue two up table and he'll try to hold that cue ball behind the nine, as you can see there. A little bit of spin on the cue ball. Well, his last two safety shots have, uh, have been dead on the money. And he's just come round to check the angle. See where he wants to send that blue to. Just a little bit, a little bit of touch. I've drawn the cue ball here, hold it behind the nine, and that's well played. That's very well played. Poor old Vilmos. He's got to find another one. I'm not sure he can jump. There's no way he can jump out of that, surely. And this is the third shot in a row. Here we see it again from Darrell. Good cue ball control, sending the object ball way up table. You've got to feel sorry for Vilmos in a way. The last three shots he's had have been out of snookers. Well, Darrell's breaking his heart, isn't he? It's like, well, if I can't get it, you're not going to have it yeah. either. Vilmos is going for his jump stick. Look to jump over. Come maybe one, two rails. Well, he's done it again. This guy can jump. Has he got the rules? Well, it was a great shot, whatever. I don't know if there's a tiny, tiny little edge that Darrell can see here. But if there's one thing we know about Vilmos Foldes, he knows how to jump. Yeah, he certainly does. Good, good cue ball control when he's got his jump stick out. And he may have got the little rule that he was looking for there. That's what you need sometime in nine ball pool. When things aren't quite going for you, you need a little bit of lady luck to go your way. Daryl's just looking to come one rail. Got a lot of English on the cue ball. Try and contact it full and send it back down table, that blue two. You see an overhead. A lot of English required here. Oh, and it's nice. Is it going to hold up? Can he see it? Mm, I think Vilmos might just be able to have a piece of this, you know. And that's yeah. what he's lining up right now. Can he see it to put it away? Got the camera angle there. He needs to spin the cue ball round the orange five. This is a very tough shot. Has he got enough? Nope. Has he got the second prize? He may have. And again, Vilmos is... See the swerve shot there? Jumps the cue up. Tries to spin it in, but he's got the second prize here. You just hear the cheering on the other on the other match here, the other match table. Cowboys got off their fantastic 4-0 lead. But the local man Roberto Superman Gomez has pulled it back to four frames all. So still all to play for in that match. What's Peach got out of that? Another good shot, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, you, you kind of don't need to be watching the other match. You, you know what's going on from the, from the cheers in the, in the crowd. Yeah. When, you, when it's silence, you know that Carl's doing all right. 
when the place is going nuts, you know Roberto's on song. And this one, Barrel has uh, really silenced everybody. He's just dominated this match. Yeah, you can see the scoreline there at 8 frames to 2. And a race to 11 there. And he's not given Fold as many opportunities. He's run quite a few racks and every time he's not been at the table he's left Fold is in trouble. Got contact. What else has he got? Is there a combination on there? Maybe a 2-8 combination. That'll just come round and have a look at it. Makes it that much easier if you've got a combination shot on. It doesn't look to be too far away. He's also got an open shot on that blue too, you can see from the camera. And it is bottom right hand corner. Darrell's not one of life's gamblers, is he? <laughs> you, you don't always get the feeling that Darrell will roll the dice on a shot. He'll look at this, and if he's not 100% certain that he can make it, he, he won't go for it. Yeah, we certainly way up the best percentage shot here. He's not really got much to do in this uh, combination, 2-8 combination here. It went. And the blue's going to go as well. Superb. That was a fantastic strike there from Darrell Peach here. We see it again. It's not only the combination, it's the control of the blue two and the white ball. You know, apart from fluffing his lines on the nine ball in the second rack, he hasn't put a foot wrong. No. Yeah, he very little makes a mistake, Darrell. Doesn't give up the table easily. You hear that cheating in the background? Yeah. Yes, the tide definitely has turned on table two. Where it was a fast start from the Englishman, <coughs> things have changed. Here, the, uh, the pace just uh, relentless. Slow and steady. Just be looking to avoid the nine ball here. Swing it out table and that has to be back in good position. Just checking out the angle that wants to leave in that pink four to the right hand centre. Doesn't want to be too straight on it, wants to leave an angle so he can take the white back up table for the orange five. Looks pretty good to me. <laughs> that was certainly striking that cue ball with a lot of authority. It's a sign of confidence. And it's confidence. two balls away from a 9-2 lead. You can't fault what this man is doing out there. This is a World Championship semi-final. And he's making it look like a practice basic rate every time. The Folders hasn't really had a chance to, to lose this match. They both had a couple of horrible misses early on on the nine. Other than that, Peach has just kept on the table and yeah. stayed there. And if he's if he's not had a shot, he's played safety. That's right. He's just dominated the match from early stages. He's back to his little routine there. Before the break off, we see him get his little piece of sandpaper there. Just freshen up his cue in his hand. He's got this little routine going. 9-2. I was hoping you'd just kill it. Well, uh, flag in. <laughs> Flown in specially from Budapest. Express delivery. <laughs> Again. That's a nice roll. Nice 
open shot and the one ball here, here we see it again. Cannon's a pink four, sends a four into the side. He's never had to make an adjustment on this break, has he? It's just been no. from his, his first break. Yeah, he's played, I think this is his third match on the TV table one. And he's certainly got used to that break off. It's all just coming off for Darrell Peach, isn't it? He is in total command of this table right now. Can he stay there? It's just as Peach has put seven racks together. If Foldis gets up to that table, he's capable of putting seven on, on Darrell Peach. Oh, definitely, yeah. I'll just look to take that red three up top. And that is the thing with winner stays on, isn't it? it it's 9-2, and if this, was, if this was alternate break, he's got no chance, he's finished. Yeah. But if he does get on, he's got a shot. Yeah, he's going to have a huge opportunity to come back in a match. And that's how Darrell lets up here. The way he's been playing so far, I can't really see it. He's making this look so easy. These three balls here to take him to the hill. Throw the cue ball across for the nine into the bottom left. Nicely lined up. Again, you look at the rack and say, well, he didn't have to do anything special here. But again, he got the break, he got the run out, he did the job, he's on the hill. Thank you, rack 13. Peach to break, leading by 10 racks to 2. On the hill, but this is rack 13. 13, unlucky for who? And that will need to pinch himself if he does go over the line here. A whirlpool final for him. Well that surpasses all expectations and I'm sure he's just thinking to himself right now, play it like any other rack. Again we see he was a bit a little bit unfortunate there. Yep. We see the one ball gets kicked by the red three in a safe position. So is this one of those head for the hill shots? Yep, it's another shot where they'll try and hide the cue ball behind the pink four at the bottom right. Send the cue ball across the table. And really, you've got a feel for Vilma's folders here. He hasn't seen an open ball. I don't know when he last saw an open ball. Fifth frame. Was it the fifth? I, I, I honestly can't remember. It's been so long. He hasn't even had a chance to lose the match. No. <laughs> he hasn't been in the match. Yes. Vilmos can't walk away from this and say, boy, I blew the big chance. He never got the chance. He's looking for a nice roll on this after contact on the one. He's in trouble. Russia, no, it's just no. It's not Vilmos' day today. not been at the races at all. Darrell's not given the opportunity. Here we see that shot again. And he's just going to slide off the side of the one. And hide that cue ball, but he got it all wrong. Well, it's very simple. There's eight balls on the table. If Darrell Peach puts them all away, he can go home and get a very good night's rest ahead of the biggest day of his pool playing life. Who saw this script? Well, he's got a little bit of work to do yet. You can see in your screen that red three up the top right hand side. It's going to be an awkward shot to get from three to four. If he manages to do that, This requires a little bit of work, doesn't it? Because he's he's at full stretch there. 
Yeah, yeah he's just come over yeah. a little bit too far with that cue ball. He's just adjusting, adjusting that flex of this. There, you can see he's moved it down so he can play a draw shot. Presumably, that can't touch the, the edge of that can't touch the table. Yeah, it can. Yeah, yeah, you can push it all the way down. All oh, right, push it all the way down to the field. He wasn't going to be rushed in the opening rack. And if this is the last one, he's not going to be rushed in the final rack either. Definitely one of his strengths that he, he's a tempo guy and he'll he'll take his own tempo when he's ready. Yeah, he's just making sure he's got enough chalk in his tip there. He doesn't want to be miscuing at his vital stage. Three, anything or nothing? Mm, just a little mm. bit short of pace there. So we're going to see it again with the leaf folders in a tricky position down behind the six and nine. Come two rails here down behind the six and nine. There's the judge the pace again, and that's perfect. Oh, poor old Vilmos. Jump stick. This is the fifth snooker in a row that Vilmos has been left with. He hasn't thrown him a bone, has he? No, he's not going with the jump. If you're Vilmos, you might as well just bang it at home. I mean, nothing else has worked for you. Yeah, you might see him play that sort of shot here. Don't really get any other options open. Oh, you might get something out of this. Is that going to travel? Oh, no. When it's not your day, huh? I thought for a moment he might just have got something there, but... No, the ball didn't have the legs. Peach can move in for the kill. It's just got a trick of all shot. You ever see that shot from Vilmes? Nice hit on the three ball, but it goes way back down table. And it gives Darrell Peach a chance. He's got a little bit of work to do here. He's just on the wrong side of that three. So I wonder if he'll play. A long drag shot, try and kill the pace of the cue ball. He has, but has Hello. it stopped Hello. enough? No, he's just travelled that bit too much. Again, I think we'll see Darrell play a containing safety. He's got the option to either bank the four ball back up, up in front of the six and nine and take the cue ball. They may elect to send the four ball over towards the seven. And take the cue ball. Well, he's going to try a thin shot here and take the cue ball full length of the table. Another very nice shot there from Darrell. I don't know if he can get through that gap, Vilmus. Well, he's having a look. This will be a novelty if uh, if he can see it. A ball he can see. Yeah. Peach has played this as well as you could possibly play a match up to now. Yeah, apart from that miss in the one second miss. frame. Yeah. yeah. He hasn't put a foot wrong. Vilmes is going to kick off one rail here. Oh. Is he going to get a bit of a break? It's a nice hat, but you can see that I think he four. can see it. I think he can see it. And if he can, that could be it. And judging by Vilmos's face there, I think he fears the worst. Yeah, Darrell, here we see that shot again. Good contact in the pink four. But 
Just unfortunately, it just doesn't get the rules again. And that's happened through that match for him. This is very fine. And it dropped. It dropped. But is he going to get position? Can he do anything with this next ball? Do you want to take that on? Wow. It's makeable here. We see that long thin cut in the four. It just crept in the pocket no more. Just a bit short of pace here to come round for that orange five. It's got a possible combination five seven. But it's a tough one there, you see it. And once again, Darrell refuses it. He's going for the safer option. He's not one of the game's gamblers, is he? But I think he may wish to have had that one back because that's come way out and that might just give Vilmos Foldes a lifeline back into this match. Boy, Darrell Peach would love to hit rewind right now. Oh, well. Just give it up, Vilmos. It's not your day. And that's what happens, Nick, when you... And you haven't really been even mm. given the opportunity to get your arm going in a match. That's tough. Yeah. Now Darrell Peach, these last three balls to reach this year's final. Well, somewhere down the road, Wilmos Valdez could look back at his week's work and say, you know what, semi-final of the World Pool Championship, I'm pretty proud of myself. Yeah. Tonight is not that night. But for Darrell Peach. The dream goes on. Yeah, as you say there, Nick, if you said to Vilmas at the start of the week, you will get to the semi-finals. I think he would have took it then. Absolutely. final and he will take as much care and precision over this straightforward nine ball as he has every other shot but cue the celebrations Blackpool come on Darryl yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's only a very different Darryl than the one I spoke to earlier very composed very calm now it doesn't matter what they throw at you does it whether it's a defending champion local favor controversial calls you're going from strength to strength. Is this your most confident or your best game? That's my best win, 11 2. I didn't yeah. expect to uh, win that, that comfortably, really, because Vilmos is a class player. Yeah. Um, I think that's about three. Well, it would have been. He's been in three finals before yeah. this in the last three tournaments he's played in. So um, I expected a close match, but uh, I froze him out, and my safety was, uh, you know, it was on form. Apart from the very last rap. I know, someone just had a really good game there. Now, this is going to be your first final of the World Championship. I mean, you're looking very calm for that kind of, uh, you know, has it sunk in yet? Not really, no, but that, that's me. That's how I am. I'm, I don't, like, well, I try not to get uh, too excited. I did the last match because it was just, uh, it was an amazing match against Francisco, but, um, you know, I just try and keep my feet on the ground and carry on. I'm Dal Peach, and uh, this is me. This is what you see. And we will see you tomorrow in the final. All the best. I will have a good night's rest. Thank you very much. All right, back to you.